Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It feels like Christmas because today I'm unboxing my Dior purchases. I bought these at Dior in Paris and it was an amazing experience. The store is gorgeous and I am obsessed and I have been impatiently waiting to unbox all of this so that I can finally wear it. Anyway, first up, I'm gonna start with the bigger box, which is actually skincare. Well, skincare and makeup. This is literally my favorite part is just unboxing. Well, also actually using the products is probably my favorite part. Unboxing them might be the second favorite. Comes in, you know, the traditional Dior box with the Dior bow. And then it's all in here. So first things first, I got the Dior Prestige La Mousse Micellaire. It is the Exceptional Gentle Cleansing Foam. This is the Dior Prestige Cleansing Foam, foam and I've had it in like a tiny sample that they sent me once when I ordered the Dior Prestige Skincare Trial Set, which by the way, I also reviewed. So if you wanna learn more about that, I'm obsessed with the skincare, the Dior Prestige skincare line. And I ended up getting the, cl the cleanser because I freaking love this thing. It was also cheaper in Europe but I am obsessed with this cleanser. It smells so good. It leaves my skin feeling so soft and moisturized and hydrated, so I knew I had to get it. I have super sensitive skin. I've used, like I said, the mini one that they sent me as a gift or like a sample, and I would highly, highly recommend this one. I love it so much. I also got the Dior Forever foundation and the Dior Forever concealer. This is what it looks like. This is the foundation and that is the applicator. And for reference, I got the shade 2N. One of the sales associates at the Dior store actually applied the makeup on me just to like match the, the skin and everything and teach me how to do it and show me, you know, like if I, if I liked it or not. And it was, she was super nice, really lovely experience, did a great job applying the makeup very gentle like she i told her that like, you know i didn't wear too much makeup or anything so she was like i'm just gonna match you with one that's gonna be super similar to your skin and the dior forever line is really nice because it's very you know it offers coverage but it doesn't feel like it's super heavy or anything on your skin and truly like that whole day after i left the store and i had the makeup on it felt amazing like i could barely even feel it it was just i don't like it when i feel like foundation is clogging my pores that didn't feel that way at all and this is the concealer that i got again also in the shade 2n I've actually heard amazing things about this concealer, so very, very happy. I knew it was gonna be like a good one and I love it because I don't have actually concealer at all. And I feel like it is a must to really especially cover, you know, the dark circles and anything else. So again, I don't wear too much makeup, but I wanted to get like a nice foundation and a nice concealer because I feel like that's really gonna help me for the days that I do wanna wear makeup and I wanna have a little bit more coverage. Moving on to this box, these are actually my Dior sunglasses. I'm very, very excited about them. I freaking love them, they're so pretty. You open the box and then here they are in their own little protective case. It's a super nice protective case in leather that says Christian Dior. And then if you open it, we find these sunglasses. So these are the sunglasses. They say Dior here. Well, Christian Dior pairs, as you can see there. And same thing on the other side. You can put them on and I really, really like the style because I don't have anything like this. And I thought that it was just really nice, different than what I have and just very also classic though big fan because again i don't have anything like these so i like them because they're different and still very stylish and classic though the lenses are actually like slightly bluish i don't know if you're able to see it on the camera because i literally am not able to see it once i'm wearing them but they actually come off i feel like they might come off a little bit more like black but in person they look a little bit more bluish anyway super comfy sunglasses really cute very different style than what i have and i feel like they just go well with everything because they look like classic styles. Nothing nothing too big or anything like that, you know? For reference, these are the Dior Signature B2U sunglasses. And they're in black. And like I said, the lenses, I mean, the lenses are like black, bluish. Okay, and lastly, it is the smaller box. And these are, wait for it. Again, super cute packaging as usual. These are earrings and they come also packaged really cutely. This is what they look like. They are small earrings, but I feel like, I mean, I preferred smaller earrings and they say CD and have a little pearl hanging. So I'm gonna put them on so that you can see them. I tried on quite a few different ones, but I really like these ones because I felt like some of the other ones that I tried on were a little bit too big in my opinion. And again, I was looking for more like delicate earrings. So I ended up going with these ones after trying on a few because I felt like they were, you know, the pearl made it very cute and feminine, but it also didn't look super big and obnoxious, like to the point where it just felt like it was a statement earring and it just, I didn't like that. Anyway, this is what they look like. Again, they have the little pearl and then the CD. So very delicate, very cute, very feminine. One fun fact, because obviously like I've tried earrings at different stores before, but never at designer stores. They really, really clean them. So before like I could try them on and stuff, she like totally sanitized them and everything, gave them to me. And then if I, the ones that I didn't like, she again like sanitized and put them back. So I really appreciate that because I actually had never had that experience before trying on jewelry. So that was pretty nice. But I'm really, really happy with these. I really like them. I thought that they were, like I said, a very cute, very feminine. And I love earrings that are gold and with pearls. Like that's literally my jewelry. My favorite type of thing is like gold and pearls. I love that. Obviously diamonds too. But you know, I'm saying in general for like more traditional day-to-day -day jewelry, I love gold and pearls. 
And so I love that this one combines both. And again, I love that it's like very cute, very dainty, very feminine. Anyway, I would say that from the stores that I shopped at in Paris, Dior was probably the best experience that I had. The sales associate was so nice, so kind. She was showing me everything and anything that I asked for. Super amazing, super helpful, answered a bunch of questions. She told me a bunch of stories about the, you know, like the, the history of Dior because I love Dior and I love learning more about it and, you know, the house of Dior in general. And she was telling me all about it and all about like Christian Dior and how different icons like the Dior star, the Dior beast, all the stuff, how it all came to be. So it was just a lovely experience, super helpful, really got to connect with her and it was really, really nice. They gave me water, very, very helpful. I mean, they would have given me more, but I literally just wanted water. I made it sound like it was like, oh my God, they gave me water. Anyway, a really great experience. Couldn't recommend it anymore. Truly amazing. I just love Dior, which is a huge problem, but you know, it is what it is. You know, Taylor Swift's new song, like it's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Hi, I'm the problem. I have a shopping problem and Dior is my problem. Anyway, that is what I have for you from my Dior purchase, my Dior purchases in Paris. It was honestly amazing. I almost ended up coming back with another Lady Dior. I actually got to try on a brand new Lady Dior that had come out in red. It was stunning. I was having a hard time saying no, but somehow I mustered the willpower out of God knows where. And I said, I'm sorry, I will have to pass. Now it's not the time. I don't need another Lady Dior, but oh my God, that bag was so beautiful. It was in red and it just really stood out and I'm still thinking about it. And one day, you know, one day now I have that Lady Dior in my, in my dream bag wish list, whatever, which has a lot of different bags. But a Lady Dior is just such a classic. I, I mean, I love mine. And anyway, again, that was my experience shopping at Dior in Paris really really great experience really lovely the sales associate was amazing everybody there was super kind and i would do it all over again <laughs> and i love what i bought so i'm very very happy with my purchase as well if you have any questions if you want to know anything else about my experience shopping in paris shopping at dior any of these products if you have any of them and you want to share your experience please leave that in the comment section i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it useful and if you did please give it a like a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you next time